Hey fellow vegans, it's Thorn here. In the last few weeks of voracious reading, I've stumbled upon a book called The Stark Solution. And in that one book, the author, John McDougall, lays out one early and new sign of vitamin B12 deficiency that I've not yet heard of before. And I was shocked for two reasons. Number one is I've read a lot of vegan health and fitness books in the past. But I've not yet heard of this one symptom, this one sign of B12 deficiency. And the second thing is that I actually experienced this symptom that I'm going to be talking to you and explaining to you in just some seconds in the last few months. So if you just give me a few minutes of your time, you're going to learn one of the early signs of B12 deficiency that you've probably not yet heard of before. So are you excited? Let's just dive right into it. One of the early signs of vitamin B12 deficiency that you might already be familiar with is anemia, meaning a low red blood cell count. This means getting tired more often and being easily exhausted when doing any kind of physical activity. So this can be related to iron deficiency, but can also be caused by B12 deficiency. And if you have a low red blood cell count, that can be easily diagnosed with a simple blood test. But this is not the symptom that I'm talking about in this video. That's too general. I'm talking about the more specific vitamin B12 deficiency that you've not yet heard of before. This other early sign of vitamin B12 deficiency that I'm talking about is related to your nervous system. And if not treated early, this symptom can be irreversible. So let's quote John McDougall here. The most common nervous system symptoms of B12 deficiency are numbness and tingling in the hands and feet. In the early stages of the deficiency, these neurological problems are entirely reversible. And when I think back a few months ago, when I wasn't supplementing B12 because I was living on the other side of the world in Bali during the pandemic, which kind of inhibited my supply chain, I actually started to experience numbness and tingling sensations in my hands and in my feet especially the little finger, little finger here and the little toe, which now since supplementing B12 again have fully disappeared. So this early symptom is something vegans should be fully aware of. Now, is this an actual risk for you and for most vegans? Our liver stores about 2000 to 5000 micrograms of B12. This is a three year reserve. And because our body is quite optimal, the reabsorption and recirculation, like a reabsorption machine, this three year reserve can actually last for 20 to 30 years. So it can take about 20 to 30 years to actually become vitamin B12 deficient. Now for me, it was a little bit faster um, than that. However, why take the chance? Supplementing vitamin B12 is literally just a few bucks per year. It's not expensive, it's dirt cheap. Yet too many vegans state proudly, I don't need supplements when the downsides of not supplementing B12 are just simply so huge. We're talking about irreversible neurological damages that can cripple you for life. There are quite some high stakes there. So you have the downside of supplementing B12, which is quote unquote losing a few bucks a year. And then you have the downside of not supplementing B12, which is irreversible neurological damages. If you lay it out like this, the decision to make to supplement or not is quite simple, isn't it? The supplement me and Dr. Gregor recommend are B12 supplements in the cyanocobalamin form, 2000 micrograms a week or 50 micrograms daily. Be aware that cyanocobalamin is a better version than methylcobalamin. This used to be quite different, I think a few years ago, so recent science has changed there a bit. So right now, cyanocobalamin is the preferred form to methylcobalamin. So check your vitamin B12 if it is cyanocobalamin. If not, don't worry about it. Just finish your methylcobalamin um, supplement and then switch over to cyanocobalamin afterwards. Cobalamin. 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 The best form of B12 absorption is actually found in losangs. So the supplement that you don't swallow, you let it dissolve in your mouth. Don't swallow. Dissolve. B12. And oral B12 supplementations are as effective as B12 injections, so you might as well just get the B12 supplement, the oral version. So this was one of the early signs of B12 deficiency and how to treat it. If you like this video, make sure that you 
like, smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm gods and make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you enjoy videos like veganism, fitness and personal development. I also leave a link to apply for my private coaching program in the description below so if you're a fellow vegan or soon to be one that is looking to get in the best shape of your life, be a positive vegan role model and be the best version of yourself that you can be, you should click the link right now in the description to apply to my, for my coaching program and I talk to you soon. Okay guys, see you next time.